So I recently got a community guideline strike on my channel, and I made a video about it, but it was kind of done as a joke, which I really regret. It kind of took this really serious issue, and I kind of just cast it aside, which I seriously regret. In this video, I'm going to go ahead and lay everything out. I'm going to give you all the proof. I'm going to show you exactly what happened, and I'm asking you guys a favor, and that is to spread the word. Somehow manage to let YouTube know of this issue or get their attention. It's so hard to get YouTube's attention. They just seem to completely ignore everyone on everything, and this is something that's going to affect my channel for the next six months that I completely do not deserve. Um, I This copyright strike was completely unwarranted. And I'm going to go ahead and right now show you exactly what happened. So on February 6th, which is one week ago from today, I got this email. And you guys can go ahead and pause it and read it. But I'm going to go ahead and read the important part of it, which is the reason why my video um, got flagged in the first place. For content to be considered for removal, an individual must be uniquely identifiable by image, voice, full name, social security number, bank account number, or contact information, e.g. home address, email address. Examples that would not violate our privacy guidelines include gamer tags, avatar names, and address information in which the individual is not named. We also take public interest, newsworthiness, and consent into account when determining if content should be removed for a privacy violation. The only thing in my video, and it mentions this as well, the information reported as violating privacy is at 1 minute 44 seconds. Now, I can't re-upload the video, but to those of you guys who saw the email, at 1 minute and 44 seconds, I did indeed violate the policy. I did indeed have the face of an individual who I did not have their consent from to be in a video, and that individual was indeed uniquely identifiable through their face. That is the only part of the video that violated this policy. Nothing else violated the policy. They were never mentioned by name. No other information of theirs was given out, but they were identifiable by, by face. Literally about an hour or so after I got this email, I immediately went to YouTube's editing services and I blurred all faces in the video. This took up this process took about two to three hours before it was completed. From my understanding, and again, correct me if I'm somehow wrong in this whole situation, and this is still somehow my fault, but for me, my understanding is that if I blur the face which was causing this entire issue in the first place, this individual being uniquely identifiable through their face, if I blur their face, I no longer violate any part of this. I no longer violate any any issues with this privacy complaint. And the video can remain up, which is exactly what I did. I blurred their face and then I left the video up because at that point, the only time that I was ever referencing this individual was by their gamer tag. That's it. I was never, ever violating any other part of this policy agreement. February 9th, three days later, I get this email saying that my video got taken down for violating the privacy agreement and for not complying and taking the video down. Right? Even though I blurred the face, which was the only part of the privacy complaint that I violated, even though immediately after I received that email, I blurred all faces in the video, not just his face, all faces, all identifiable faces in the video were blurred. And that was the only part of the video that violated that privacy uh, complaint. I still get my video taken down, right? And I'm thinking to myself, okay, this must be some kind of mistake. It must be a bot because the email said... Uh, that the video will get taken down 24 or 48 hours after I received the complaint if I did not take down the video myself. So this was 48 or 72 hours, some, some set amount of time afterwards. So for 24, 48 or 72 hours later, my video gets taken down and I get issued a strike on my account. I think it's a bot. I think it's a mistake. I start not to panic or anything like that. And I just go and I send in an appeal, um, which you can do. And in the appeal, I wrote uh, the part of the privacy agreement that I uh, violated was I had a face and I then immediately afterwards blurred the face and no longer was I violating the privacy agreement, right? Okay, well, turns out that three days later, February 11th or two days later, I get a email, which I'll show you right now, that my appeal got denied. I don't know why my appeal got denied. I didn't get a reason Again, it's just such a short little message that it feels like it was done by a bot. I have no idea what the hell is going on. I really don't. And to those of you guys who watched the the video, which is about 5,000 of you, know that it did not violate any privacy agreements or any privacy issues other than that one face shot. And I blurred that immediately afterwards. Still, my video gets taken down and my appeal gets rejected. 
I, I don't know what to say. I really don't. I'm just at an absolute shock. And because of this, I now have a strike on my account and I can't use custom thumbnails. And I have a whole bunch of other features such as live streaming uh, completely disabled. And I don't know what to do. I don't know how to contact YouTube. I don't know how to bring attention to this. I don't have a big enough channel to the point where I can make a video, have it get hundreds of thousands of views, and then somehow YouTube gets that attention and then it gets resolved. Um, so I really don't know what to do. So I'm asking your help. If you are watching this video somehow, please, I need your help. Find a way that YouTube can get a hold of this information or someone give me an email address I can reach them at or somehow find a way to make this video get to the right people because I am stuck right now and I am frustrated because I fixed the mistake that I made and yet still I'm being punished and I feel like I'm just caught in a massive system that is YouTube which just is not really getting the correct attention that it needs. I'm going to be contacting the few people that I know on YouTube who have a following that can actually make a difference and you guys, again, I'm asking your help if you can do things like let the Reddit community know or find a way to get me an email or if you know somebody who knows that they can figure something out. I, I don't know exactly what it is. I feel like I'm rambling here, but I really, really want this to get resolved. And I just feel like I'm completely stuck. I'm not at the size where I can really do anything. YouTube doesn't give two shits about somebody with 20,000 subscribers. And it's just impossible to get anything done. Hell, they don't even care about people with 200,000 subscribers. Even when you have 2 million subscribers, you know, even then you're just a dent in the YouTube system. So it's so difficult and I really need your help, guys. I really, really do. That's going to be it for this video. Thank you guys for caring and paying attention to this issue. And hopefully this does get resolved. So take care, everyone, and I'll see you with another video very soon.